Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Back in action like Jesse Jackson. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, yes, very good. Very good. Um, at this moment, I would like for us to do a little recap from the previous class, a little review, if you want to call it that. What um, vocabulary or what information or what um, conversations do you remember about the previous class? ¿Qué se acuerdan de la clase anterior? ¿Qué conversaciones? Eh, ¿Qué vocabulario? ¿Qué, ¿Qué gramática se acuerda? De la clase de ayer. Directions, teacher. Excellent, Jacqueline. Giving directions. Conversion is is it far from here? Very good, George. Conversation, is it far from here? Thank you. Another one. Somebody else. Somebody else. Somebody, 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 somebody. Anybody? The prepositions, teacher. Very good, Jacqueline, the prepositions, that is correct. Can somebody give me examples of the prepositions? In front of. In front of, Katya. Walk up. Huh? What was that? ¿Qué fue eso? Oh. Across from, teacher. All right, Jacqueline, across from. Very good. Can somebody give me a sentence using across from? Somebody give me a sentence. Alguien que me dé una oración utilizando across from. Hmm? Alguien que quiera participar. Mi teacher. Ok. Los amando is is across of Walmart soy apango. Excellent. That is correct. Across from Walmart Soya Pango. Very good. Okay. Uh, now, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to do the midterm. Midterm. Do you know what is the midterm? Saben cuál es el midterm? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, right now, we are going to practice the midterm exam. Vamos a practicar el midterm exam. So, quiero que todos nos vayamos a la sección que dice midterm exam. Okay. For this activity, we're going to be looking at section three, midterm exam, listening activity. Listening activity listening activity, instructions. Listen to the conversations and check the correct answers. Instrucciones. Escuche las conversaciones, seleccione la respuesta correcta. So, we're going to listen to the conversation, this conversation, and answer. Mark is going to be they are going to have a party on. They are going to mm at the party. You will have five minutes. Any questions at this moment? 
Okay. Let's do it. Mucho bien suave, voy a compartir la, la pantalla. Okay, vamos a escucharla para contestar. Yo ya las contesté, pero vamos a ir en orden para escucharla. No sé si usted ya las había contestado. Sí, ya las había contestado. Okay, vamos a practicar entonces para que se nos quede un poco el audio. Ok. Are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. Two. En la primera que entendió. Este, sí, lo escuché. En la primera, si no estoy me equivocada, es... Eh, ay, no me acuerdo cómo se dice, 13. 13. Ajá, 13. Ya es todo. Oh. La respuesta, vamos con la segunda. So, what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday, but we're going to have the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. Everybody can come that day. Ahí entiendo como que se va a ir de, a celebrar. Ella cumple años el viernes, pero que va a ir a celebrar el sábado. Exactamente, así. Estamos bien, excelente. Sí. Tercera. Three. What kind of party are you going to have? Oh, well, we're going to have a karaoke party. A what? You know, karaoke. People stand up and sing songs. The music is on a CD and the words are on television. I see. So Mark likes karaoke? He loves it. Ahí no le entendí mucho, pero como que le gusta el, el karaoke, ¿verdad? Ajá. Okay. Entonces, ajá, yo le puse que es sin son. Sin son, sí, uh -huh. esa es. Uh -huh. Esa es. Estamos bien, teacher. <risa> Vamos a seguir practicando. Bye. Vamos a escuchar nuevamente para que vayamos este, practicando más que todo el audio. Porque ah, hay, hay palabras que yo todavía no entiendo. Ah, no vaya. Sé, si a usted le quedan bien claritas. No, hay palabras que no. Sí. Bueno, vamos de nuevo. Bueno. Juan. Are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13. He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. Two. So what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday, but we're going to have the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. Everybody can come that day. Three. What kind of party are you going to have? Oh, well, we're going to have a karaoke party. A what? You know, karaoke. People stand up and sing songs. The music is on a CD and the words are on television. I see. So Mark likes karaoke? He loves it. Okay. 
Listo. Tenemos 10. Sí, tenemos 10. Sí, hay palabras que todavía me cuestan. A mí también. Vamos. Regresamos. Bye. Chao. Chao. All right, all right. Is everybody finished? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's look at the first one. Number one. Santos. Number one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is Mark is going to be uh, 13 years old. 13 years old. Mm -hmm. Number two, Christian. All right, number two, George. They are going to sing song at the party. All right. No, number two. Number two. Uh, they are going to have a party on Saturday. Saturday. Number three, Noemi. And they are going to the party sing songs. Sing songs. Sing songs. Sing right. songs. Okay. Good job. Excellent. All right, uh, at this moment, does anybody have any questions related to this activity? No. Questions related to this activity? No questions. Okay. No questions. All right, now we're going to look at section B. Match the questions with the answers. Instructions, match the questions with the answers. Instrucciones. Relacione la pregunta con la respuesta. So, you're going to read the question, va a leer la pregunta, y identificar una de estas que responde esta pregunta. On two, three, four, five, and six. You will have five minutes. Any questions? <coughs> no. No. Okay. No teacher. All right, let's go. Eric Xavier. Eric Xavier. Estás allí, Eric? Está tan difícil, ¿verdad? No, estaba así. Eh, si quiere, unimos las respuestas con las preguntas. Bueno. Uh -huh. Si quiere, empiece usted. Leen, leen todo el corrido, la pregunta con la respuesta. Are we going to work this weekend? No, we're not. We're going to relax. Okay. Are they going to cook dinner? Yes, they are. They're going to make pasta. Are you going to exercise this evening? E evening? Yes, I am. I'm going to I going to go swimming. Is Bill going to do anything after work? Yes, he is. He's going to visit his parent. Are Pam and Andrew going to have a picnic this weekend? No, they aren't. They are going to have a party. Is it going to rain tomorrow? No, it's not. 
it's going to be cloudy. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Uh, I have a little problem. What happened? Uh, with the numbers for the directions. Me okay. está acusando un poquito con, uh, con respecto a la conversación de ayer. Sentí que concluí con fluidez la conversación. Mm -hmm. Sin embargo, en una parte de la conversación que era el número 50 y 50, Uh -huh. eh, me, me causa como un, un problema. Siento que no sé si es más de practicar o en algo que tenga que saber y no he puesto cuidado. Eh, no, solo es identificar eh, las dos letras con la que se termina eh, la palabra. Por ejemplo, porque fifth. es un número normal y uh -huh. un número como en ordinario. Ajá, ajá, porque si tú dices, por ejemplo, cinco es five, pero si tú dices quinto? quinto es fifth. Fifth. Yeah, it's just about practice. Porque el número normal no me causa conflicto, yeah. pero quizás ya en números cardinales, sí, sí la es, TH, es, creo es que normal. es más de práctica. Sí, más que nada es practice. Y, yeah, recordar, y recordar los sonidos. Uh -huh. El más que todo identificar la diferencia de pronunciación. That's right, that's right. Si termina en Thank TH, es uh, fifth. Y si termina en mm -hmm. ST, st. Y si termina en yeah. RD, por ejemplo, third. Third. First. First. Second. 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 Y, y yo puedo decir direction y address o cada una es para una situación en específico. No, no. You can say directions o address. address. Uh -huh. okay. Address es más como, por ejemplo, tú dices cuál es tu dirección de, de donde tú vives. Ah, de tú vivir. Dices, uh -huh. Este es el address. Eh, Colonia Escalón, San Salvador, eh, calle... Yeah. Eh, constitución, that's the address. Y directions es eh, decir, ok, dale recto, toma la mano derecha. Ese es giving directions. Mm -hmm. Y con respecto a, yo puedo decir fácilmente drugstore o pharmacy y no hay problema o necesariamente tengo que usar drugstore en, una, en alguna forma. No, 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 no. It's, it's the same thing. Drugstore, pharmacy. pharmacy es lo mismo. Las dos expresan okay. lo mismo. Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right. Okay. All right. All right, so let me have one volunteer, Eric Xavier. Number one. Are we going to work this weekend? Uh, literal C. No, we're not. We're going to relax. Excellent. Rivas, Ana. Number two. Tienen silencio el micrófono, Rivas, Ana. Okay, thank you. Are they going to cook dinner? The, the, yes, they are. They are going to make pasta. Very good. Yes, they are. They're going to make pasta. Number three, Jacqueline. Are you going to exercise this evening? Yes, I am. I'm going to go swimming. In. Swimming, correct. Karen Zulema, number four. Um, four. Uh, is he going to do anything after work? Literal A. Yes, he is. He's going to visit his party. Thank you. 
Christian, number five. Christian Lisandro, number five. Uh, number five is our Pam and Andrew going to have a picnic this weekend. Y podría ser um, literal E. Eh? Okay. Yes, he is he going to visit his park. Correct. Yes, he is. He's going to visit his parents. It's F. Literal F. Okay. No, Literal they F. aren't. They're Perfecta. going to have a party. Correct. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Number six is... Fatima Guadalupe, number six. Fatima Guadalupe, number six. Okay, alguien que le quiera ayudar a Fatima Guadalupe? That is Okay. It's going to rain tomorrow. No, it's not. It's going to be cloudy. cloudy. Very, very good. Thank you. Okay. Nice. Correct. 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 Any questions at this moment? Let's move forward. Select WH questions to complete the conversations. Select the WH questions to complete the conversations. Instructions. Select WH questions to complete the conversations. Seleccione la pregunta interrogativa WH para completar las conversaciones. So you're going to look at the conversation here y usted va a identificar la pregunta. En la anterior, era la pregunta y usted identificaba la respuesta. Aquí ya tiene la respuesta. Usted va a identificar la pregunta. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Got it? Got it? All right. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hello, Glenda. Hello, Claudia. Bye. El A ah, solo que es de, un, es de un audio. Puede escucharlo ah. en su plataforma y responder las preguntas. Solo son tres. Uh -huh. Para que vayamos en orden. No sé si lo puede escuchar o, o si quiere continuamos con el literal B. Que es sí. más de seleccionar y luego hacer que el literal A. O le damos con el B y después lleno yo el A. Ok, está bien. 
El, el B dice instrucción en relación a la pregunta con la respuesta. Uh -huh. Dice la primera, are we going to work this weekend? Y hay seis opciones de respuesta. Uh -huh. Entonces tenemos que identificar cuál respuesta corresponde a la pregunta. Yo me guié eh, con respecto a, lo, al, a la persona de la que habla. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿cómo está hablando de nosotros? Y uh -huh. hay una, la única respuesta es la literal C. No, we are sí. not. We're going to relax. Sí, no, no. Ok. Where are you going to go next summer? Next summer? Where are you going to go to Alaska? Alaska, wow, how are you going to get there? Where are you going to take a boat? The sun song excited. Where where are you going to next summer? I am going to go with the my family. Quiero ver, la voy a repetir porque no era eso, sino que era who, who are you going to go with? I am going to go with my family. Okay, great. When are you going to go? Where are you going to go? On June 21. El 21, esa finalización de... AST, teacher, la finalización de es correcto decir 21? First. 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 De primero, second, de segundo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, entonces ahora al revés, usted diría literal. Eh, B. B y yo A. Okay. ok. Where are you going to next summer? Next summer, we're going to Alaska. Alaska, wow. How are you going to get there? We're going to take a boat. That sounds so excellent. How are you going to go to it? I'm going to go with my family. Great. Where, when are you going to go? We're going to go June 21st. Okay. Ahora creo que iríamos otra vez al revés. A little A, B. A you little B. Okay. okay. Sería, where are you going to go next summer? Next summer, where we are going to go to Alaska. Alaska, whoa. How are you going to get there? Where are you going to take a boat? That song exciting. Who are you going to go with? I am going to go with my family. Great. When are you going to go? All right, let's look at the first one. Let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. Yo, teacher. All right, le vamos a darle chance a Fátima porque levantó la mano. Fátima, number A. Fátima, A. Claudia, two. Fátima, A. Claudia, two. Okay, Claudia Beatriz. Hey. Okay. Um. 
Where are you going to next summer? Next summer, we are going to go to Alaska. Very good. Where are you going to go next summer? Next summer, we're going to go to Alaska. Thank you. George Alberto. Hey. Alaska. Wow. How are you going to get there? We're going to take a bus. Perfect. Teacher, Bob, part. <laughs> uh, yes. I'm sorry, no me he fijado que tenía apagado el audio. Okay, go ahead. The next one. Okay. Who? Okay, read the complete question. This, that sounds so exciting. Who are you going to go with? I'm going to go with my family. Perfect. Who are you going to go with? Correct. The next one. A. Letter A. Great. Where are you going to go? We're going to go June. Very good. Great. When are you going to go? When are you going to go? Perfect. Oh, look at this one. Alaska. Wow. We're going to take. Um... Okay. What is the correct one? Yes. Who are you going to with? In Alaska. In Alaska. How are you going to head there? Very good. How are you going to get there? Is correct. How? Yeah, there you go. Okay, awesome. Any questions related to this activity, guys? Questions about this activity? No question. Nobody? Okay. Let's, let's move forward. For the next activity, we are looking at section letter D. Complete the conversations. Complete las conversaciones. Seleccione la palabra correcta. For example, conversation one. I mm, have a headache. Hi. Seleccione una opción. Feel, get, get, have. Which one is correct? Have. Have. Okay. I have a headache. Headache. Okay. You're going to complete the activity in pairs. Pero antes de eso, vamos a tomar el screenshot eh, de la asistencia. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Ok, todos encendemos la cámara brevemente mientras eh, hacemos la picture. Ok, Katia Lorena, esperamos a Katia Lorena, todos ya la encendieron, menos Katia. Ok, ahí está. All right, vamos a ver. A ver. Ahí está, si está ahí despeinado. No, no estoy bien. Ok. <laughs> ok. Ready? Everybody say cheese. <laughs> All right. Una vez más. Everybody say cheese. Ahí está. All right. Thank you. You can turn off the camera. Puede apagar la cámara si quiere. Ok, ahora vamos a hacer la asistencia. Cuando llame su nombre, por favor diga present. Por favor mantenga su micrófono en silencio. Ana Lisette. Present. Mm -hmm. 
Um, Brenda Susana. Present. Christian Lisandro. Present, teacher. Uh, Cindy Janet. Present, teacher. No, okay, gracias, Christian Lisandro. Uh, voy con Cindy Janet. Present, teacher. Okay. Claudia Alfaro. Present. Claudia Mendoza. Present teacher. Daris Rivera. Present teacher. Diego Serrano. Present teacher. Erasmo Perla. Present teacher. Eric Rivas. I'm here teacher. Fatima Hernandez. Present teacher. Glenda Borja. Present. Jandal Goches. Present. Jennifer Granados. Present. Hermías Rivas. Hermías Alexander Rivas. Absent. Okay. Jorge Ángel. Present teacher. All right. Jose Torres. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Sandoval. Present. Karen Sosa. Present teacher. Karen Elena. Present teacher. Katia Vivas. Present. Katia Sanchez. Present teacher. Manuel de Jesus. Absent. Yo creo que él ya abandonó. Mónica Benítez. Present teacher. Neidy Méndez. Present teacher. Noemi Gabriel. Present teacher. Rosemary del Milagro. Present. Santos Martinez. Present teacher. Silvia Garcia. Present teacher. Jacqueline Garcia. Present teacher. Excellent. All right. Thank you guys. Let's continue. ¿Alguna pregunta sobre la actividad que vamos a hacer ahorita? Questions? No questions. No. All right. Ready? Let's get started. Yo quería saber si me pudo estar lista. Uh, Perdón. Disculpe. Es que yo quería saber si me puso present, es que justo iba, usted me mencionó y se me cortó la llamada. Oh, Jenny Granados, let me check. Jenny. Está Jennifer. Yes. Is present. Okay, gracias, teacher. Yeah, the present. Sí. Got it. Okay. Okay, tengo a Brenda Benítez 
y Katia Carolina. All right. Voy a poner a Mendoza en el cuatro. Y el otro es... Brenda Benítez está con Cindy. Voy a poner a Cindy en el 12. Sí, eh, ah, la what, what the mayor? Sí. Ese mail que era, no me recuerdo. Excuse me. Que era Mayer, ese. Mayer, Mayer. No, no recuerdo que era Mayer. What's Mayer? Vamos a, vamos a investigar. Sí. Importar. Importar, dice. ¿Qué es lo importante? Algo así, quizás. Sí. I don't feel. Feel. I have. I have too much. Es. Too much. Ese es. Eh, Dolor de I stomach. don't feel. No me siento bien. No me siento. Eh, me siento. No me siento. No me bien. siento bien. Bien, ajá. Eh, tengo un dolor de estómago. Estómago. Sección 3. I, I have. Do you feel today? Today. What is it? Not so good. No so good es que no, no estoy bien. No so good, no, no estoy bien, muy bien, no estoy bien. Eh, I have sore eyes, dice. No sé qué es sore. Sore, no sé. Como que sore. no veo bien o no. Ah, algo, ajá. Vamos a, Le... a investigar eso. Ajá, sore. Sore, no. sore. ajá, sore. Dolor de ojos. Doloroso, dice. No, pero sí. Ok. Ok, listo. Entonces ya. All right. Katia, Jacqueline, how are you? Fine, teacher. And you? Fine, teacher. Are you finished? I'm finished, teacher. All right, let's check. Yes. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. ¿Qué significa en la en el número en la conversación tres? Eh, literal B eh, sería not so good. I have sore eyes. En la palabra sore. Uh, sore eyes es como cuando te pican los ojos, cuando tenés eh, oh. es de eso que les da, que les pica los ojos. Pink eye. Conjuntivitis. That's right. So tú dices sore eyes, como que te arden. Tú, como cuando estás trabajando todo el día en la compu arden. y tú dices, oh my God, my eyes. Así como yo que paso enfrente de la compu todo el día. Ya. Yeah. You have sore eyes. No, pero tengo unos pads. Me pongo unos, eh, compré unos pads que pasan en la refri. Y ahí me los pongo así. Y, oh, it feels mm. so good. Sí. Mm. 
Mm. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's check. All right, all right. Let's check. Let's check. Are you ready? Are yeah. you ready to check? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Let's look at number one. I have a headache. Jacqueline, letter B. Uh, take these pills. Take these pills. All right, Fatima, number conversation two. And um, what's the matter? What's the matter? George, B. I don't feel well. I have a stomach. Very good. I don't feel well. I don't feel well. Um, aquí la palabra stomach ache. Las dos CH se pronuncian como K. Stomach, stomach ache. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. That's right. Stomach ache. No, oh, yes. <laughs> no es, no es, ch, no es stomach, stomach ache, no, así stomach no, ache. con K, stomach, stomach ache, stomach ache, stomach ache, all right, stomach ache, Nady, conversation three, Nady, A, how did you feel today? Awesome. How do you feel today? Uh, Rivas, Ana, B. B, not so good. I have sore eyes. Excellent. Erasmo, conversation four. Erasmo. Uh, okay. I I had vacation. Uh, I don't. Uh, me puede abrir la opción. I see. I don't uh, ex, exercise. Don't exercise. Very good. The next one, please, Christian. B. And use this medication. And use this medication. Awesome. Good job. Any questions? No. All right. El último. The last one. In this activity, we're going to look at text home remedies. Va a leer las home remedies, medicinas en casa, y va a identificar para qué es cada remedio. In pairs. In pairs. Any questions? Any questions? No question. Okay. No question. Let's do it. Let's go.
face with code. Where you can else put your hand in hot water. This can help. Ahora el último le toca a Karen. Insomnia. Can I sleep at night? Drink a large glass of warm milk or take a very warm bath. Ahora, si quieren, empezamos a responder. Okay. The first for a cold. Podría ser la, la tercera. Some people eat hot chicken soup. Yes, yes. Some people. Uh, yes. la, la. Uh -huh. la número. I think the first. Uh, you can drink warm tea or take some honey. Uh -huh. Vamos con la tercera. Podría ser put a cold cloth on your head. Yes. Okay. Ahora vamos con el último que fue insomnio. Mm. The last one. Green allergy. Allerg La última, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿verdad? La última, Adri. Ajá. Entonces, finish. All right, let me have one volunteer read a cold. Okay, Eric. For a cold, some people, literal C, some people eat hot chicken salt. No, 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 no. Uh, we're reading home remedies. Ah, okay, Do okay, okay. home remedies really work? Many people say yes. Try these simple home remedies. Me va a leer donde dice a cold. A cold. Okay. Mm -hmm. A cold. What can you do for a cold? Many people eat hot chicken soup. Other people drink hot water with red paper, red pepper, sugar, lemon juice, and milk. Thank you. Thank you. Correct. Jacqueline, a headache. A headache. What about a headache? Put a cold cloth on your head or splash your face with cold water. You can also put your hands in hot water. This can help. Perfect. Fatima, a cough. A cup. Do you have a bad cup? Drink water tea or take some honey? This can make your throat feel better. Excellent. Noemi, insomnia. Insomnia. Can sleep at night, dry a large glass of warm milk, or take a very warm bath. Very good. Okay, now let's have Cindy, number one. Number one, one is some people eat hot kitchen soup. Some people eat hot chicken soup. Very good. The next one, Diego, number two. 
Okay, sería for a go. You can dry guarty or taste some honey. Okay, aquí la pronunciación sería cough, cough, como una F cough. al final. Cough. For a cough. 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 Y aquí la palabra es drink, drink, drink. drink. Correct. Drink. drink. All right, let me have the next participant is, let me see, Glenda, number three. Um, true. Yes. Uh, I got, for a headache. Okay, Karen Lisette, no, 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 number no. three. Number three is for a headache. Put a cold cloth in on your head. Thank you. Jose Jovito, number four. For insomnia, drink a little glass. Os warm milk or take a warm bath. Perfect. All right. And we finish. So, el lunes vamos a empezar section number four. El lunes empezamos section four. All right. Are you have a good weekend? Tengo un buen fin de semana. Acuérdese que en casa, que nada le cuesta, le sale más barato. All right. Por eso dicen, quédese en su casa. Si no tiene nada que hacer, quédese en su casa y haga la plataforma. That's right. A mí me sale más caro. No tiene nada que hacer en la calle. ¿Ah? A mí me sale más caro porque yo como como, como cinco personas. Oh, wow. Así okay. que me sale más caro. Okay. Que el café, que el pan, que, que yuca frita, que los pastelitos, que todo, o sea, oh. me sale más caro. Oh, wow. Well, I'm sorry for you, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, que disfruten. Y... Ay, castigada estoy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sí. <laughs> See you Monday, okay? Si pueden continuar en la plataforma, hágalo. All right? Bye. 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 Good night. See you Monday. Good night. Bye. See you Monday. Bye. Bye. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy weekend. Enjoy. Thank you.